And welcome once more to Flashpoints. I'm Bob Orr. Joining me is Juan Zarati. He's our national security analyst. Juan, as always, good to see you. Bob, great seeing you. So we have not looked at Ukraine recently, and it has not gotten better since we've been away. Right. It, in some ways, had been a, a festering cold conflict, uh, and the hopes w was that the September 5th peace plan uh, would take hold and would quell uh, the tensions. The problem, though, Bob, is things have gotten slowly but surely worse. Uh, you had uh, separatist elections uh, this past weekend, uh, which has inflamed tensions with Ukraine. This is in violation of the peace uh, process. You have reports of Russian support flowing back into eastern Ukraine. Some of that is rumor. Uh, some of that may be true. But now you have more fighting in Donetsk, uh, certainly more people being killed, attacks on the airport. Uh, and Poroshenko, the, the, the prime minister of, of Ukraine, now sending uh, forces into key cities like Mariupol to secure those sites in fear that Russian-backed separatists may be fighting, if not the Russians themselves. Some of these were troops that had been, had been drawn back, right? So now they're redeployed, which basically says they've lost confidence that this can be resolved. No, that's right. And, and a fear that what's being set up by the separatists with the support of the Russians is really an attempt not just to secure eastern Ukraine, but to secure supply lines and other territory. And that means going after key cities like Mariupol, which is why the Ukrainians are then sending out troops in support there. Uh, this is getting worse. Uh, the peace plan is ta uh, teetering, really, um, and there are some who say it's really uh, a charade at this point, that really what you have is an ongoing conflict uh, with questions as to what, whether or not the Ukrainian government can actually defend themselves. So that peace plan may not be salvageable. We may be talking about a whole new game here where you got to start over. That's right. It, it may be the baseline around which uh, the, the powers try to negotiate, but at, at the end of the day, the question is what's happening on the ground, and what, ha what is happening on the ground is not a peace process, it's more fighting. One thing that's very interesting to me is Vladimir Putin has been kind of invisible. We haven't heard anything or seen anything about him recently, but we kind of suspect he's still the puppet master, if you will, behind the scenes. Absolutely. Again, Putin is playing a long game, and he's playing a, a game of Russian influence and expansion. Uh, and in some ways, they've been uh, pushing the envelope where they can, but they've certainly returned to the Ukrainian theater, uh, especially uh, with these elections in the East, which have clearly violated the peace plan and certainly irritated uh, the relations with Kiev. What was the peace plan about? I mean, a cynic might say, well, that was never serious. That, that's just like kicking the can down the road. What do you think that was about strategically? Strategically, it was about... Uh, settling the forces as they stood, right? It, w it wasn't a resolution Drawing of Drawing new lines, essentially. Right. It wasn't a resolution of Crimea, of course. It wasn't a resolution of every uh, grievance in, in the East. It was an attempt to draw back forces, to have at least a peace, uh, peaceful uh, environment in which talks could uh, proceed, and so there could be a political solution. Uh, it didn't present the political solution, and it didn't solve the peace, but it at least was an attempt to draw down the, uh, the tension and the friction at the time. That has now evaporated, and I would, I would argue it really is a chimera now. It's really not a, an active peace plan, and what people are trying to do is salvage um, any remnants of it uh, possible, and certainly the Ukrainian government's trying to solidify its hold on key cities. I suspect this is a topic we're going to have to come back to many times. That's right. Russia's playing a long game. They're engaged in uh, hybrid warfare, and we're going to see Russian little green uh, men uh, in the Ukraine for some time. Troubling prospect. Juan, thanks as always. Thank you, Bob. And thanks to you for watching Flashpoints. I'm Bob Orr. We'll see you next time.